What's up, Anamangians? And welcome back. So, today we have a brand new Red Band trailer for Ready or Not. Uh, this seems to be a horror movie uh, with a twist on the on the child's game. Uh, seems to be a resurgence of those kinds of films. Uh, earlier in the 2000s, we got a lot of movies like, like, like that, where it was kind of a play on certain uh, childlike uh, grammar school games or or, or whatever, but instead people die or something. So it seems like we're kind of going back to that. Uh, let's see if we can do it in a less campy style than those earlier horror films. Now, while those horror films are always good for a good laugh or, or, or something to see how far we've, we've come, horror movies in later years have definitely taken a step up. And, you know, it's kind of... It's kind of hard for you to come out with a lackluster horror movie now because you will get told, hey, your movie sucks. There's a lot of other studios doing it better, being more creative and still being scary. Can you do this, the same thing? Let's go ahead and check and see if Ready or Not is worthy or if it's just another uh, one of those films that can be thrown in that discount bucket at Walmart. Let's take a look. I can't believe that in half an hour, I will be a part of the Ladomus Gaming Dynasty Empire. Uh, Dominion, we prefer Dominion. I honestly can't wait to be a part of your family. There's just one more thing. And then you are officially part of the family. So, at midnight, you have to play a game. Why? It's just something we do when someone new joins the family. A game. What game? Hide and seek? Are we really gonna play that? Well, the rules are simple. You can hide anywhere. We then try to find you. So there's no way for me to win, right? And stay hidden till dawn. <laughs> no, thank you. Good luck. What the hell is this? How old is this thing? Jesus, you shot the maid. Does she look like she's wearing a giant white wedding dress? Emily? <laughs> Holy shit! I had to play along so that I can get you out. It's insane. They think they have to kill you before sunrise. Or something very bad will happen to the family. If we don't find her and perform the ritual, we're all dead. Found her. Why don't you just use mine? That's the Lodomus. I just saw her running. Oh, oh my god! Oh, 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 your fucking family! You're just another sacrifice. Ah! Do you think this is a fucking game? Oh, oh. Yes, I didn't see. Remember? You wanted to get married. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Jesus. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, I'm definitely interested. Um, yeah, it seems to be going like a, a dark comedic route. Definitely going to have a lot of comedy infused in some of the more uh, a horror-centric moments, which I love. I love movies that try to turn the horror genre on its head and instead of just being pure horror, do something a little bit different at the same time. So if this can balance the comedy with the horror very, very well, hey, by all means. I mean, the trailer was cut perfectly. The trailer was cut beautifully. But, you know, trailers can sometimes be better than the actual film. So I'm looking to see if there's a really good balance there. Uh, also, it seems to be a very, very large amount of blood and gore, uh, which I'm pretty sure a lot of those gore fans will really enjoy. Um, so you have a lot of blood and gore. You have a good balance of comedy and horror. 
uh, I don't see where this movie could possibly go wrong, do you? Uh, like I said earlier, there are definitely a lot of movies that uh, would try to turn a child's game on its head and uh, you know be, be a horror film, but they were either too serious or they were just way too campy and it kind of took away from the scares that were supposed to, to be there except for the cheap jump scares. This seems like it might be uh, because she's trying to hide and not be found, there, there may be a lot of tension building, which I think works perfectly for horror movies. So I'm really excited for this. Ready or not, I was not expecting the trailer to be that good. To be completely honest, I was expecting it to be really crappy. I mean, the thumbnail, at least for this, tri I mean, for, for this trailer that, that I'm watching, didn't really make me super excited for it. But I'm happy I watched that. Now I'm going to be keeping my eye open. It's coming out in August. Uh, what do you guys think of Ready or Not? Does this seem like a movie that you'll want to see? Uh, it kind of reminds me of um, You're Next. You remember that movie? It came out a few years ago. It also did the, the same thing, kind of infused comedy uh, while also turning the horror genre on its head. And a lot of people really enjoyed that. Some people were a little tur turned off. I really enjoyed that, that movie. So this is anything like You're Next. I'm all for it. What do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you have not done so already, go ahead and click that subscribe button so that you can get more content like this, which contains movie news, reviews, and reactions from your boy Derek right here at Anamanji. Don't forget to click that like button and do not forget to click that bell notification so that you will know when I post again. That's all I have for now. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, stay dope.